this doesn't work, this doesn't work. And, and, and well, it's not working right now. But, you know, look at Syracuse. I don't care how it is now. I want, what I want is I want us hitting our peak at Syracuse. That's in any sport, <coughs> any event, that's what you want. Okay? Right? When you're making that tape for Ellington, you want it peaking right there. Bang! Right there. High point. I want to peak two weeks early. Okay? And I think after today's performance, I think that, that we're getting there to the point where we're ready. We're ready. We're ready to wow people tomorrow. Excited. <laughs> Competition frequently was in Norwalk, Connecticut, and we would go there and perform at night. We were the we were the last band on most of the time, even though we were drove for this. Ontario used to go there too, and I think one of the last times we went, snow, 31 degrees, 32 degrees, wind howling, and we're out in a field that is dark. It's dark. There's no lights at all. Warming up on a field. Warming up on a field that's completely dark. The field is 200 yards away. And we performed our show. We got a second rate trophy that fell apart. And that's how we ended our season. And, we, and I remember driving back from there going, all this work for that? For this, this is the high point of our, this is the high point of our season, where we go and freeze our butts off. Trumpet players literally be the, the Vals froze. They froze. They, you wow. couldn't, and there's nothing you can do about it. It was so cold out, and the wind was whipping, and the pe people in the stands were, you know, there was it was sparse. They weren't interested. They, they they wanted you to play your songs faster so they could get out of there because it was just so cold. They didn't care. And then I think about. Tomorrow, or you seniors, your first time going to the Perry Dome. Well, first of all, we were guaranteed that the wind speed was going to be <laughs> a little less. The snow might be outside, but we definitely didn't. And then, of course, you know, we had parents who came on board who hadn't been there for those Norwalk and those other competitions. And man, this carriage home's cold. And I'm like, yeah. well, we got, you don't know cold, right? Yeah. You don't know cold. And, and we're sitting there going, this is how you win. You know, I'm just going to add a little correction on that. The, the last time we went to the Norwalk, it was the year we did the Beatles. And we did the Yacht. It was so bad, we said, forget it. So That's we, right. We ended our season. It didn't have an end whatsoever. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, no, you guys, guys, focus. Okay. You know what I think? No, I'm turning off. That's exactly right. You're right. The correction is we ended our season not having a show. But, but we didn't end it. That was like, that's what we just said we were like, okay, all this work you did doesn't mean anything. Cause come tomorrow, the greatest band, New York State Field Band Conference, and the lowliest band, and we are definitely somewhere in between, close to the top. Mm -hmm. Come tomorrow, everybody's done. That's it. That's it. You know, people who spend tens of thousands of dollars and are incorporated the bands that have 20 of them are all done. And they're playing in a, in, in, in a beautiful place, in a place that, that you're going to see five, six thousand people. But you guys, have done a great job. We have we have spent a lot of time talking about um, a difference this year in what we see as a staff, what we see as, as parents, chaplains, and stuff like that. We see it. I mean, it's amazing. The stories, that, the stories that we're telling each other about just the spirit that is here. Um, but you guys know that there are people who are behind the scenes that do stuff that you, you just, you, you don't even know. It, things just happen and you know they happen. 
they happen like clockwork, and <laughs> these people are, are responsible for them. And we have a bunch. Of, first of all, smooth trips happen because we have great chaperones. So <coughs> give them a round of applause. bands go out there, those cute little bands, with 30 people, and I think, that's a section for us. <laughs> that, that's like, that's like when we have 50% attendance. <laughs> and the uniform them, I'm sure, is like, there you go. But these, the people who are involved in the uniforming, uh, it, and it, you know, if you're a parent that is involved in this, you think that the, the uniform, we come into a room, the kid stands there, and whoop, there it is. It's done. It's done. And we know that's not true. And it's not just the in camp. It's every week making sure that everything is taken care of. And, and really now, because these uniforms are getting old, believe it or not, many <laughs> riches on a record, right? right? So the uniform people, and just stand up, put a hand up, stand up.
and they go till 10.30 on a Friday night to create something that will never be linked to them on the field. Those are team players. Those are team players. So we have where's Mr. Kuchalski and Mrs. Patsner and the crew. And the crew, right? Well, forget, forget that. Because we make them do a lot of work. But you guys doing that, Mr. Vosa building it and doing it and just, hey, we got a moon. Hey, we got AP. Hey, we got this. And then, of course, we might say, you know, and then they go, okay, well, we'll do something else here. Yeah. 